You're paying for electricity every month. But did you know up to 40% of the power flowing through the grid right now does zero useful work? It's called reactive power, and it's secretly super important. In an AC system, real power, measured in watts, happens when voltage and current are perfectly in sync. That's the power that lights your bulbs and runs your fridge. But motors, transformers, and many industrial loads make current lag behind voltage. The overlap, the real power, drops. The unused power bouncing back and forth is called reactive power, measured in VARs. Think of real power as the forward push that moves swimmers across the pool. Reactive power is the water sloshing uselessly side to side. It doesn't move anyone forward, but you still need a bigger pump and bigger pipes to handle it. Reactive power doesn't get billed to homes in most places, but it still flows through cables, causing extra heat and losses. More reactive power equals bigger, more expensive wires and transformers. Too much reactive power demand and not enough supply? Voltage starts collapsing. That's how huge blackouts begin. That's why power companies install capacitor banks and synchronous condensers. They supply reactive power locally so it doesn't have to travel hundreds of miles. Big factories, they get charged extra if their power factor is bad, sometimes thousands of dollars a month, because they create reactive power problems. Fixing it with capacitors often pays for itself in under a year. So reactive power does no real work. But without it, the grid would collapse, your voltage would sag, and industries would pay a fortune. Next time you see capacitor banks beside a substation, give them a little respect.